We're back up Glaciado Mountain again. There was an item down there. My loot sensors have immediately engaged and we haven't even started yet. We need to head over to the gym that's not too far from here. There's no like location associated with it, it's just Glaciado Gym. The map marker is just for the gym. Which I guess makes sense considering it's the last gym in the game. If I zoom back out, Victory Road is 7 out of 8. We've done the majority of the game now. There's just one gym, two Starfall bases, and one Titan left. So I feel like I have to go up the mountain, but this seems to be the only path. I'm just going to head around this way, and I will get back to you as soon as I make it to the gym. Okay, I can see the gym building just up there. It seems that we went down only to go up, I guess. We found this great big slope here. She's taking me straight up to the gym, thankfully, so it should be right around this corner. If uh, I can get around here without getting trapped by my need to pick up every single item I encounter. So yeah, there it is. There is a Pokemon Center here. I don't need to use it because I skipped everything on the way up, but I'm going to at least talk to the lady so I can get it unlocked as a fast travel destination. I don't know if that's required, but at least now I know that I can do it. It's kind of set up like a, a ski slope, I guess, with the net fencing. Got some ice heels that'll actually be quite useful. I imagine we'll have to worry about being frozen at some point throughout the battle. And there's the battle arena, kind of like an ice rink which you really do not want to walk off the edge of. Oh no, that is quite the drop. Oh, and look who's here. It's Nimona. Finally time for your last gym. Is there a percent worried about you? Leprimera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Go find her so we can cheer you on together. Is she not going to try and battle me? No, she's just running away. Okay. I'm not going to complain about that. So this is the Glaciato Gym, let's get registered. And what's the challenge this time? Snow Slope Run, so we're going skiing. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. Oh, and I think it's probably worth mentioning that I haven't trained my two party members up that are underleveled since last time. I don't reckon I'm going to need them, so I haven't really bothered, but I will do it before we carry on any further than this. So that TM is Snowscape. A snowstorm and boosts the defense of ice types. Is that the new hailstorm? That sounds quite interesting. Alright, this is where the run starts. Reach the finish line in the time and we will get started. Ah, oh, we get a nice view of the course. So this is the slope I came up. Alright. And I guess we just have to go through the middle of those flags there. Is it going to be like a countdown? Yep, here we go. We have a minute and a half to do this, I think. Oh, and we don't get to boost or anything. Maridon's just sliding down. So turning really slows you down. So we kind of want to go as fast as possible, but I think if we miss any, we might be penalized. Maybe there'll be like a time loss at the end. Seems easy enough to hit them all though, even if it slows us down a little bit. Is that the end? Oh yeah, then there definitely will have been time losses if I did that in 40 seconds. Alright, and that is the gym test passed. That was the simplest one so far, but hey, it's something unique. Some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Passed the test with flying colours, so we just go back to the receptionist. Like I said, very simple, but I'll take it. It was quite fun. Alright, we finished the snow slope run no problem. Cleared the gym test. And the right to challenge the leader. And we will go in to fight the Sub-Zero Shredder now. Oh, that's one of the new Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of a Bakugan. You know, like those little marble toys that sprung out into monsters that had that trading card battle game that completely flopped because it was kind of broken. Yeah, it reminds me of one of those. 
And here's the gym leader. The freezing. You're a challenger? That's right. Grusha, a snowboarder, used to be a pro. Now a gym leader. Saw me on the slopes. Don't let it go to your head though. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Better off giving up. Yeah, I'm sure I want to battle you. This is my job now. Don't take what I'm about to do personally. Right, this all sounds a bit intense. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Right then, let's go. Frostmoth. So this is bug ice, which means that it's four times weak to fire. Guess what type my Flareon is? Alright then, let's begin with Fire Fang. Tailwind. Oh, that doubles the speed of his Pokemon for five turns. Alright, we got the one-hit KO. Oh, it's critical hit. I feel like it would have one-hit knocked out anyway because it's four times effective. Bertic. Okay, Bertic has very high attack power. Let me check my Flareon's defense. Um, can I not do that from here? Uh, summary. Only 63. Okay, if it is only 63, then maybe... You see, we just need to decide between Dig or Fire Fang here. If Fire Fang won't knock out straight away, then maybe Dig would be better. No, I think we'll just go Fire Fang. Earthquake. Oh, that's going to knock us out. We're not surviving that. Right, well, we know that we now need to play around an Earthquake. I'm going to throw Gyarados in here, though. And I'm going to use this turn to put a revive onto Flareon. Now, you might wonder why are you using the Pokemon that's just going to get knocked out immediately? Ah, you see, that's the point. We don't care about this turn, we're just trying to stall out turns. Gyarados avoided the attack, so now I can also use this chance to super push in my Flareon. And the great thing about this is that we've lowered the Bear attack. We survived? Well, the Tailwind is gone. So now I'm going to switch into Curlia. Really doesn't make a difference to me whether or not Curlia survives. We've traced its ability. Icicle Crash will probably be a KO. Yep, there we go. That's completely fine, though. I'm fine with that. We're going to swap Gyarados back in. Intimidate again. Drops this attack twice. And I will use... Splash. The best move in the game. To be honest, I probably should have used Bite and done at least some damage. But the outcome of that turn was always going to be the same. Let's get Flareon back in here, and we'll start using Fire Fang. And hopefully those two attack drops are enough to make up for the defense we don't have. Oh, yeah, I probably should have done an attack. We might have one-hit KO'd it with that, but it flinched, which means that we now have the opportunity to knock it out for free. Wonderful. So I guess that Intimidate Cycling wasn't really necessary, but we had no way of knowing that. It's a Titan. So this is a new one. Is that the Bakugan? Oh, it's a big Bakugan. Okay. Very big Bakugan. Liquidation. We just survived that. That was dangerous. 
That was very dangerous. Okay, if it's water type, Clodsire. Because it has water absorb, which means that it will heal off of this. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna use Toxic, I think. Apparently it's a Beyblade as well. Right, well, this is a problem. We're gonna have to go into Pormont now in close combat, I think. Okay. Pormont, the trooper that it is, has now defeated the Titan. Now we have Altaria, which we can use Wild Charge on. You're not just talk, I see. One full step from a steep fall. Okay, so this is going to Terra into Ice, which means that it's going to be Flying Fairy Ice. I reckon it's probably going to use Moonblast. I'm going to Terrastalize into Wild Charge. I know I'm Terrastalizing into super effective damage, but I want this Wild Charge to knock it out. Alright, Pormont, there's the Light Bulb. Battles are like mountains in winter, the situation can change in a heartbeat. And here comes the Ice-type Altaria. Imagine an Ice-type Mega Altaria, because it became Dragon-type when it Mega Evolved. So that would be a Dragon Ice-type. That would be so powerful. Okay, one more of those and it's going to knock it out. Moonblast, I called it. I knew that would happen. We took it though. Alright, wild charge. There we go, Altoria down. Whew. Our Flareon really helped out with this gem again. Well, we are victorious. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future. Just like how I used to be. I should give you a gem badge? Yeah, thank you. Sounds like a good idea. You want a photo to commemorate your win? No, not particularly. What are they doing? I don't understand this pose, but alright then. Sure. With eight badges, we can catch Pokemon of any level. And we should also take this. It is... Ice Beam? Ice Spinner. Okay, what does this move do? Twirls around, slamming into target, and the spinning motion destroys terrain. Ah, okay. That's very good. Ah, and there's Namana. And she's brought Nikita with her too. I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. A shining display of talent. I think I've heard that one before. Pat yourself on the back, you beat every gym. Which means... Gathered eight gym badges, you can take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion. We can take on the champion assessment. That's the building that was on the side of the mountain that I saw from the tower near Misagoza. So yeah, I was right, that is the Pokemon League. Hurry up and get to my rank, I'm itching for a battle of equals. Gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Okay, good luck Nimona, off you go. Unusual for me to see her so excited. Must be really happy she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesa Goza. I feel like that might be our last destination. We'll probably finish all the other storylines first, because that, like, becoming the champion sounds like a good stopping point. So was that it? That was actually very quick. It literally took me 20 minutes to do all of that. I guess we can head now for the next thing that's on our list of leveled things, which is Ortega up here, the fairy leader of Team Star. So we can just head down the mountain, basically. 
There's the North Province Pokemon Center there. Okay, I can see the base from here. There's a lighthouse at the top of it as well. It's kind of interesting. And there's the Pokemon Center just down there. We're taking the quick way down, because gravity is of course your best friend, until it isn't. Can we make it all the way off that side? We can. Can I get on top? Oh yeah, I can glide, can't I? Why wasn't I gliding? I completely forgot about that. But yeah, here we are at the Pokemon Center. So we'll just have to jump off the mountain. I'll see just how far inside the base I can glide from here when we do that, but we'll get to that tomorrow. I will definitely make sure to train up the less leveled members of the team. I'll probably get everybody up to level 50. It sounds like a good point. Maybe 55. 